In 2015, Cardano was conceptualized by Charles Hoskinson, who also happens to be one of the co-founders of Ethereum. Cardano runs on a proof-of-stake protocol, which basically allows users to earn passive income of up to 6% per year simply for holding the coins in their wallet, thereby securing the network. Just like Ethereum, Cardano features smart contracts, which basically allows all kind of applications to be built on the Cardano network. Just like Facebook and Google are applications that are built on the internet, developers are able to build decentralized applications or dApps on the Cardano network. Cardano is built from the ground up, driven by peer-reviewed academic research. This means that before research gets implemented in the protocol, their scientists submit their papers at major cryptocurrency conferences like Crypto17 and let their research get validated by independent experts in mathematics and computer science. And as a result, Cardano is the first provably secure proof-of-stake protocol. Cardano was built in Haskell, while Plutus is their smart contract language. Both of them are functional programming languages, which means that they are more secure and that their code is amenable to mathematical proof or formal verification. Formal verification is typically used in mission critical systems like spacecraft, where a flaw in the code results in loss of human lives. What results is that Cardano and its smart contracts are high assurance, which means that the code works as intended. Cardano aims to improve on previous generation blockchains by improving on three major areas, scalability, interoperability and sustainability. Let's first have a look on scalability. Both Bitcoin and Ethereum suffer from serious scalability issues, where payment networks like Visa enjoy a network throughput of 26,000 transactions per second, network throughput of Bitcoin and Ethereum is limited below 50 transactions per second. In the case that this maximum throughput is exceeded, this throughput basically works like a bottleneck so transactions will slow down dramatically and get really expensive. Cardano aims to provide lightning fast and nearly free transactions, no matter the amount of users. To achieve this, Cardano is going to implement state channels. This basically allows every computer in the network to add a thousand transactions per second of throughput to the network. Now network throughput can simply be increased by adding new computers to the network making the system truly scalable to potentially millions of transactions per second. Now let's have a look at interoperability. Right now there's thousands of blockchains. These blockchains all operate on their own set of rules and speak their own language. Cardano's vision is to create an internet of blockchains, using sidechains to allow different blockchains to achieve inter-blockchain communication, to allow value transfer between the blockchains. Now let's talk about sustainability. Most cryptocurrencies are funded from an initial token sale at the launch of the project, but eventually these projects will run out of funds for further development of the project. Cardano wants to solve this problem similar to Dash, with a decentralized treasury. It is like a decentralized bank account that is continuously funded from transaction fees. Anyone in the community who wants to develop on top of the Cardano protocol can simply submit a proposal and ask for grants from this treasury. All ADA holders can then vote on the proposals that they care about the most. The proposals that get the most votes will then automatically get funded from the treasury. Now this is very cool, because as the system gains users and amount of transactions on the system grow, more and more developments will get funded, which will in turn attract more users, providing a positive feedback loop in the growth of the ecosystem. Which basically means, the bigger the system is, the faster it will grow. Which I think is amazing. Just like Ethereum, Cardano is a platform. This means that you could easily launch a new cryptocurrency with corresponding token on the Cardano network. The cool thing is, that tokens that are launched on the Cardano network will inherit everything that is native to the Cardano network. Including on-chain voting, interoperability and high assurance. Cardano has even built a ERC20 converter, which makes it possible to migrate projects that are currently on the Ethereum blockchain over to the Cardano blockchain. 
The vision of Cardano is to build a world financial operating system, which basically means to put blockchain in the hands of billions of users. The idea is to provide a blockchain based system for governments to issue digital identities on that is immutable and permanent. Now once identities are recorded on the blockchain, a blockchain based payment system can easily be implemented to give anyone that is registered on the identity system instant access to digital payment solution and financial services like digital lending and insurance. The short term strategy is to focus on adoption by governments in developing countries like for instance Ethiopia, where a large part of the population still lacks basic things like identification and access to financial services. To suit the need of these governments and enterprises, Cardano has set up an enterprise framework called Atala. Atala is basically a centralized version of Cardano, which means that governments are able to run their financial operating system in a centralized way, so they still remain a certain degree of control, like the ability to freeze accounts and reverse transactions. The idea is that the centralized Atala networks are all interoperable with the Cardano mainnet. So every time a government adopts Atala, basically millions of users are ported into the Cardano ecosystem. 